the sign of cancer hello and welcome to my channel we have perception and perception says see the past through the lens of grace all that occurred is designed to support your growth and evolution and perception is paired with unrequited love there is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going so I'm picking up for a lot of you cancers that in the recent past you were in a connection that had lost some of its mojo there just was not enough chemistry to keep it going or either someone was coming towards you like that and just not enough attraction there so you took what you learned from that experience and you realized that everything it taught you was to support you in your growth and evolution so you didn't really uh, let it get you down and if you did it wasn't for long because if there just wasn't enough enough in it for you to want to try to win it not enough of what you needed to make you you know keep it going so so you just took it as a stepping stone and realized that this was a part of your life's lesson and it was taking you to where you needed and wanted to be so that was for some of you cancers in the recent past um, now let's move on to the present time we have the tower and it's paired with the two of cups now the tower is about trying to hold too tightly to the status quo which can be a disaster if you try to do that you have to make sure you roll with the changes roll with any changes that come towards you towards the end of end of March early April you might find that some people situations that you had counted on as being there for you they may no longer be there for you in quite the same way keep in mind just remember this doesn't have to be drastic or dire because change is the nature of life so if you try to prevent this change from happening it's going to be like trying to row upstream without a paddle and towards the end of the month if you've been trying to build on something or work on something uh, this could be the time that some of the things that you've been working on or planning they come crashing down that's only going to be a problem if you let it be you'll be able to re to replace whatever you are trying to do with some more realistic and reachable dreams and goals if they fall apart dreaming is important but it's also important to be living in a reality when the tower talks about love and relationships it's showing that a relationship it could be about to end and if you are in a relationship that you absolutely positively do not want to see come to an end this is going to be a time for you to practice damage control and for clear communications find out where your partner's head is find out how they're doing and don't make assumptions find out for sure so that's the tower card and just pair with the two of cups now the two of cups is it represents a uh, true love it refers to romantic partnerships but that's not its only connotation it can speak of balance friendship joy sharing this card says that you will be doing really well you'll, you'll be feeling more than usually loved cared for and content now when this card talks about love and relationships it's a balanced partnership commitment all the things that we all want when it comes to love in relationships however keep in mind this doesn't mean that you can just say or do whatever and that your relationship is going to last it only means that 
you you have a real solid potential for true love and affection and if there's some single cancers out there listening and you got this two of cups like you do in a reading it's a signal that it's very likely to be coming your way soon true love that is so that's a really good thing for you single cancers and for you you people that are in a relationship so basically for your present time the tower card and two of cups very interesting two different cards one is some type of um, disaster but you're enlightened by it with this tower card you become awakened by some something that comes crumbling down okay so you're enlightened and then here comes this this romantic love a deep partnership possible proposal or marriage so uh, you're enlightened by like I said some something that just doesn't work out and then your ideal partner comes along and brings harmony, union, connection. Or something could have happened in a connection that you're already in and then it just takes off to the next level. So you're with someone, something drastic happens and then it brings you two together in a real deep way, really deep. The love becomes stronger. It becomes a two of cups, a union. Wow, you two are really drawn in. So that's what we have for the present time coming up towards the end of March. Leading into April. So let's take a look at how your person is seeing you. They see you like this nine of pin the Knight of Pentacles. Now, the Nine of Pentacles, it's a good card in the tarot. It means that things are, any type of worries that you had, they're over for a while, and things will be uh, going much better than you thought possible. So it's really good energy. And um, your finance should be moving along pretty well. Uh, when it talks about love and relationships, it's about moving to uh, new heights of intimacy and joy. And this Knight of Pentacles is paired with the Page of Swords. Now, the Page of Swords, it can represent a person. The person will probably be younger than you. Um, it's about an offer coming in, maybe a message. And it's probably not what you want to hear. So you're not really excited to take action. Uh, with the Page of Swords, someone that you know could be pushing too fast or stepping on your toes or it might feel that way. So there could be some mild conflict. That's what the Page of Swords is about. Knowing when to push and when to back off because many fights and discussions they're actually not worth having as long as your person or the person is treating you with respect. So you might want to allow for space at this time. This is going to be crucial for happiness. So that explains the Page of Swords. So basically this is how your person is seeing you. They see you like this Nine of Pentacles and Page of Swords. Um, they see this connection as possibly moving to the next level, moving moving up a notch or two, and they see it really good with this Knight of Pentacles. Really good. But then you got the Page of Swords. They could see you as uh, trying too hard maybe maybe pushing in this connection 
Um, so it, they see you bringing some conflict with this Two of Swords. Bringing some conflict to this connection. But they still see you as potential. They see you as, yeah, potential. It, it doesn't really bother them enough, whereas they want to let you go. But they think you're trying too hard with something. So they're not always excited. Sometimes they're just not excited to find out what you have to say or what you're going to do. Okay, because like I said, the Page of Swords is about some offer or a message coming in and you're not just, you're not excited to take action. So this is how they see you as um, just doing things that they don't really appreciate sometimes. But with this Nine of Pentacles, they they want to keep it going. It's not like they're ready to say enough is enough and then walk away. They're not doing that. So, once again, that's how they see you. Let's take a look at how you see them. You see them as judgment and the hangman. Now, the judgment is about jumping to conclusions, decisions, and, of course, judgments that are too hastily made. So, if you know that you're prone to doing this, this is a signal or a sign that you need to slow down, give things more thought, give people more chances, this can be a time of spiritual awakening also. So if you're already in a relationship, this can be a make or break period. A time if you're very clear about what you want out of life and out of your relationships. Then take steps to make it come about. So if you are single cancers and you get the judgment card, it means that a relationship could come about in the near future. But you're going to have to take steps to make sure that you're not jumping to conclusions, positive or negative, about your new, your new love. And just keep in mind, slow and steady wins the race. So judgment is paired with the hangman. Now the hangman is about letting go, letting go of an unattainable lover, bringing the possibility that someone that you can be with will be there for you. But that's only one example, so you may need to let go of a vision that you had of the kind of relationship as being the only way you can be happy. And if you're in a relationship, it could be at a crossroad with this hangman. If you think the relationship is great and fabulous, you want to be sure to find out where your partner's head is. So... This is how you're seeing your person. You see them as judgment that they jump to conclusions. Um, you see, because they do this, you see that um, uh, it could be at a make or break period. So you, you see them as not giving enough chances in this connection. And because there's a hangman there, uh, you see them at a crossroads. Uh, you see them as possibly letting go, maybe walking away. So, yeah, because they jump to conclusions too much. They, they make harsh judgments. So it's got to make or break. That's how you see this connection. And uh, the hangman, like I said, it's about letting go. They could be letting go of the eye of the of the way that they thought the relationship should be. They could be just letting go of that and just going with how it is, or they could just be walking away, but they're at a crossroads, um, not knowing yes or no, in or out, up or down. They're kind of stuck in their head. But you see them, this connection, as a, as a make or break period. And um, there's a lot of Um, jumping to conclusions 
That's how you see them. Now let's take a look at why it's all happening. It's happening due to Page of Cups and Five of Pentacles. Page of Cups is about a need to play, dream, have fun. When this card appears in a reading as it is, sometimes it means that uh, you've been taking yourself way too seriously. You probably heard the saying that there's a difference between taking your work serious and taking yourself serious. The first is important, very imperative, and the second can be a disaster. When Page of Cups talks about love and relationships, a younger person, maybe even a few days, a few months, a few years, could be a part of your love scenario. Just remember, love does not know age, so don't discount people who are younger purely on that basis. This card, when it comes to love, it can mean that someone is about to sweep you off your feet. Someone maybe wants to come in and make an offer, a love offer. So you might want to give them a chance. Don't discount them because they're younger than you. And this is one of the reasons why it's happening. Uh, you could be dealing with someone that you feel is hmm, maybe immature um, or they need to lighten up. Either you think they're immature or like I said they just need to loosen up. Uh, have They need to open their heart up. Be more playful. So maybe you think that this person, or they think you're a little bit uptight. They kind of want you to loosen up. So, because it's with this Five of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles is not a really happy period, or a happy indicator when it comes to love. Uh, you could have your eye on someone you feel is not treating you the way they should. It may be that you need to stop fantasizing about this person. Uh, this card, Five of Pentacles, is also about feeling left out in the cold. It's going to be important to remember that there's never only one person that we can be with and have a soul level, happy, meaningful relationship. Because when love is right, you will not have to do backflips to make it work. So broaden your horizons, try to think positive. You're a lovable person. So the Five of Pentacles is why it's happening also. Someone feels mistreated in this connection. Someone feels mistreated, feeling less than secure. They feel alone in this connection. And then someone feels like you or your person needs to loosen up just to let go and not stop being so uptight or either on the other end they could be thinking like I said that you're too immature with this page of cups so these two cards is why it's happening five of pentacles page of cups So basically, for this reading, there's a tower moment that brings you two together in a really big way with this Two of Cups for your present time. We talked about that. Something, some type, something comes crashing down. But you two are enlightened. Or you, just this could be you if you're, you're enlightened by some type of disaster in this connection. You're awakened, and it brings you to a deeper love. But then we've got this um, hangman here. Uh, someone is at a crossroads. You're seeing your person at a crossroads. Not sure if they want to walk away or not. So there could be someone doing this because they're kind of confused about something that happened and then um, we've got why it's happening 
Uh, someone's also feeling left out in the cold because someone could be kind of immature. With this page of cups. Or someone just is not loosening up enough. You know, taking this connection to serious or whatever happened in the connection they're taking it to the point whereas they don't really know how to maybe forgive or open their heart when when there's a mistake or something that went wrong but uh, that's interesting because like I said you got the tower you got some type of disaster happen and it brings you two closer together but now someone goes back to being stuck in their head under how you see them with this crossroad with the hangman.